Hello, hello everyone. I want to talk about something a little bit different today. So I've been talking about anime for a lot, but I've really gotten into like reading manga as of late. And I've read a number of great things that I just need to share. Um, I've been really focusing on isekai. So a lot of them are going to be isekai or fantasy related at the least. Um, but I really just need to share some of these because they're great. And I have like a bunch of them to share, but I'm going to try and do like for an episode so it doesn't go too long, okay? So basically, I'm just going to talk about them a little bit, show you some of the, the pages of the first chapter so it's no, like, spoilery stuff, um, and just kind of tell you my thoughts and stuff on it because there are some great ones, okay? So let's begin with this one. And uh, <clears throat> before I begin, let me just say, since my uh, chalkboard is kind of an ill-fitting shape, for this. I've decided to just kind of throw it up here. <laughs> All right, so this one is called Level 1 with S rank drop rate is the strongest. So, as you can see, it takes place in a fantasy world. It's a, it's an isekai where the main character, this guy here, he gets reborn into a world, and if we scroll through some of this stuff, uh, we find out he's like living in you know, squalor and that kind of stuff. And then suddenly, oh, he gets reborn, kind of, because this girl kills a slime and he gets dropped from it. So to explain a little bit about this, basically, in this world, everything that you can get is dropped from monsters. And there's dungeons, so like this dungeon is known for food, other dungeons are known for meat, there's like material dungeons, that kind of stuff. Um, you can't really just harvest stuff because it's like a wasteland outside, basically. Um, and so the main character, we find out, has really shit skills. He's like level one, with like his highest level being one. And the only thing he has that's good is an S rank drop level. Everything else is bad. He has level one stats and everything else. Everything else is just awful, but he has S rank in everything else. So he's like extremely OP when it comes to getting drops, but extremely not OP when it comes to fighting monsters to get said drops. So he kind of pairs up with this girl and uh, they go through and do stuff like that. Uh, it's very great. Um, it's not so much a like harem anime, I feel. It's more like this guy sees this girl fighting and is like, she's going to be my daughter from now on. <laughs> and that's kind of how it goes. Some other girls do show up and it does kind of turn into a harem. But for the most part, it's just this guy going around with this girl and they're like fighting monsters, getting drops and doing all this, this kind of stuff. You can see the artworks here. Pretty nice. I, I enjoy it. And uh, this one, unfortunately, hasn't updated on the website I'm reading them on, since July 21st. I'm not sure if that's because it's still being written or translation has just dropped off. Anyway, there's 29 chapters currently. Uh, if you want to read them, I recommend it. They're pretty good. Uh, so check that out. Uh, going back to my chalkboard for a moment here so I can get the next one ready. So, <clears throat> the next one is also an isekai. It's a little bit different and whatnot. And so we'll go over to it. So this one, it doesn't have like a, a cover uh, on it right here. The cover is a little bit up here like that. It's just the translator page anyway. But this is the first page. This one is called Another World Munchkin, conquering the dungeon as the strongest and the fastest with only one HP. I don't know what that title even like means here because it doesn't make any sense. Uh, <clears throat> essentially, what happens is this guy gets reincarnated into this world uh, because he dies, and this is kind of like a preview of like what happens later on, but this is the first chapter, so you kind of see all this stuff happening. As you can see, there's goblins, they're fighting stuff, and um, right here, you can see this like, text coming up, like Poison Cloud, Poison Level 3 Curse, Trigger, Voice, and kind of like that. Kind of seems like D&D &D if you, uh, you know, play D&D. &D. It gives you the effect and all that kind of stuff. So this manga is very unique, at least in terms of the ones that I've seen, where it will uh, 
have D&D rules to it. So the world is like uh, ruled by these gods and goddesses who have this book that's basically like a uh, uh, a D&D dungeon guide, essentially. It has like lists of all the different people and like their stuff. And as you can see, like here, he's flipping through a book and you can see it's kind of like really D&D like it has like the different stats and stuff like that there and whatnot. And he's looking for his sister is what the, the thing of this is. So essentially you can see here he like is playing with his sister in the real world or their previous world. And then stuff happens, stuff happens. And then all of a sudden, let's go down to it. It gets really dark outside. It's the middle of the day. They look outside and, oh, there's a demon. And then he tries to shield his sister. He dies and gets reborn with a D&D dice, of course. And here is a goddess who is like, hey, we'll roll for your stats give you your stats and then you know we'll give you a weapon you can go to this world um she's an evil goddess though <laughs> so as you can expect how that turns out now essentially the thing the the whole plot of it is that this guy is trying to find his sister because he finds out that she got reincarnated as well and they've been separated and so despite him having one hp and his low endurance means he can't gain any more xp even if he levels up uh he has to be very careful about it and he basically goes around like min-maxing everything and his party and the people he meets uh, so that he has better chances of survival. Because if he gets like one nasty hit, he's fucked. Is essentially what's going on there. Uh, currently, it's also still ongoing. Most of the ones I'll be talking about are. Uh, it currently has 52 chapters, last being updated on August 7th. So it's been a little bit here, uh, all, a little bit over a month, almost two now. Uh, but again, I don't know. If that's because they're writing it or just haven't translated it, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, it's been a great one. Uh, I I binged all 52 in like a day, and it was uh, quite lovely. It's very interesting take on like pulling an isekai into like a D and D world. However, uh, because everything it's not like they don't like roll for like attacking and stuff, but like all of their stats and like their like alignment for like religion and stuff is taken into consideration and how the character would interact with that. And so while he has this book that tells him what everyone is and all their stats and everything, um, he has to get used to the nuances of it and what exactly all that means and how it interacts with each other. It's very interesting, and I would definitely recommend checking it out. So let's move on to the next one. And let me take a moment to get it pulled up. Okay. This next one... It's very interesting. It is called Solo Leveling. It's also probably going to be one of the only Korean manga that I uh, talk about. Excuse me, I had to take a drink. So, if you have never seen Korean manga, it's very unique. Because previously how each thing's divided up into a panel, Korean manga, however is divided up into pages, I guess, with, like, huge, brilliant artwork. And it is very entertaining. Because, uh, like, some of the artwork is just magnificent and goes on for, like, pages. And uh, there's, like, less dialogue, but there's more, like, pictures, I feel. Uh, so, basically, the story is about... A world in which it's, it's like the normal world, but like gates opened up and monsters came out and then people started getting uh, abilities to like do things like they got mage or like knight or assassin abilities, stuff like that to fight the monsters and go into these gates and seal them. Our main character is a lowest rank E adventurer who uh, basically is only a little bit stronger and more endurance than a human, which means if he goes in and tries to fight monsters, he gets extremely fucked up and nearly dies every single time. However, he is granted an ability after nearly dying by some like game master kind of thing is what it like plays out to be um, that he can level up. And so by killing monsters, he levels up and can get stronger. He's the only person in the world who can get stronger. Everyone else is set at the level, but he 
goes from like this to like later on he's like ripped and he is like insanely powerful um it is amazing uh to see like the transformation and everything that goes through so as you can see like there's a lot of you know uh pictures it, it is weird because there's like a lot of blank white and black space between everything uh i'm not sure what all that's about but as you can see there's a korean sound effects here and all that but it's a very entertaining show it's a lot of killing monsters and everything i don't know why i call it a show but you will like it trust me if you like isekai and anything like that or fantasy uh manga anything like that you're gonna like this one the one thing i've had hard or had trouble doing is keeping up with the names because i'm not too good with korean names and they all kind of blend together for me at times um except for the main characters who i have gotten because it just it just said all the time uh, and that's why this one currently has a hundred and sixty eight chapters and it updates every week basically on the site that i'm watching or looking at it is still ongoing and i think it's because it's it's a webtoon. It's not necessarily like a serialized manga. So it's not waiting for chapters to go out. It's basically whenever the artist uh, and the author or, or whatnot manage to create one, it goes up on the site. So they can just translate it and it's good to go. Uh, so basically every week one comes out. Uh, it actually comes out, uh, it looks like every Wednesday, I want to say Wednesday, Thursday-ish or so is what the schedule has been because it's been like September 1st, September 8th, September 15th, and then a day ago is when the last episode, uh, manga uh, chapter came out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still in the anime vibe. But uh, it's a very great manga, uh, rub tune, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it definitely does take some getting used to in terms of the uh, like layout of it, but it's very worth it because this is a great, great read if, if you are into this kind of genre so <clears throat> it's crazy okay we're gonna move on to the next one and the next one's gonna be complicated to talk about um huh this is gonna be complicated this one's not an isekai it's in fact just a a comedy romance it is called drawing while masturbating so let's throw this up here. <laughs> so this one is weird. Um, it's also known as Are You Gonna Come? Uh, and, oh boy. So I saw this and I was like, what is this? And it is a manga. It's, it's not like, uh, a, it's not porn or anything. It, it's straight up normal. It's not like full on porn. Uh, just throwing it out there for y'all. But some of this stuff tends to get a little risky. So, but as you can see, the first couple of pages are colored. Uh, it's not going to stay colored. Um, but it's basically about this, this guy here who is a very good assistant to Mangaka. He basically is so good that he takes over all their work and they get lazy. And so... He gets basically shoved to the side and eventually gets fired by the uh, publishers because the mangaka don't do work. Uh, <clears throat> and so he's paired up with this girl right here who, uh, oh boy, she uh, has a unique way to draw. Oh man. So <laughs> I'm not going to be able to show much of this because it gets really bad. Uh, right away. Um, anyway, so this guy, uh, Ashida, he gets assigned to this new mangaka, and she has this thing where she can only draw well while she masturbates. And because of this, every previous artist or who has come to, like, help her, uh, they see it, and then they just leave immediately. Or they, like, faint and pass out, and they, like, they quit, all that kind of stuff. He doesn't really care. He just goes at it. And uh, essentially, it's, it's a story about the two of them getting closer, her trying to do her job, him trying to do his job, and all that entails while she <clears throat> draws while masturbating. Uh, it's funny, because at, at one point, they, uh, 
he asks her if she can draw without doing it, and she tries, and it's like stick figure level drawing. Uh, it's it's horrible, so she cannot. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, it goes from the color to you know, this, and it, it's actually really fine. And mm, I this is as far down as I can go, y'all, because the bottom of that panel at the bottom of the screen there is a little bit. Mm, uh, anyway, so he comes in, sees her masturbating while drawing, and is very rightly shocked. Closes the door, comes back out, and is like, huh, yeah, that's still going on. So he's like, uh, what are you doing? Basically, the whole thing continues from there. Uh, it's very great. More characters get introduced as time goes on um, and whatnot. Very interesting characters who also draw in weird ways. Uh, one girl draws without uh, in her underwear. Uh, she doesn't masturbate, though. And kind of stuff like that. So it's very interesting. Uh, currently, it's ongoing. Um, it unfortunately only has 33 chapters, though. Uh, the last one was translated and updated on September 14th. So it's been a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still waiting for translation or other stuff, you know. So, you know, do with that what you will. But that's going to be all <clears throat> for me, everyone, right now. Uh, Really, the only risque one that I had to talk about right now is this one. Actually, there's another one. Never mind. <laughs> I thought of another one. Well, that's for later. So these are the four that I have to talk about. Uh, like I said, they're all great. Check them out. Um, regardless of what you like, I enjoyed them. Uh, and I, I seriously want them to come out quicker. But it's a matter of waiting for not only the uh, mangaka to, you know, draw them, and whatnot, but also for the translators to translate them inevitably when that happens. So it becomes a uh, sort of a waiting game, unfortunately, and it can be months between you know the mangakas uh, finishing their artwork and whatnot. So it is unfortunate. But we have more to talk about. I have a lot more to talk about actually because I've been binging these for like months, and so look forward to the next video on this whenever I decide to make it. I guess, and we'll talk about some more anime. Or manga, sorry. Until next, everyone, bye for now.